Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for checking this video out, guys. We hope you enjoy it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. We're heading to school. Of course, <clears throat> we're waiting for the train. We have Ivy today. We're gonna go drop Jackson off. We're gonna go drop Michael and Draven off. And then we've got a car to go work on in Arizona again. So we're gonna go do that real quick. Change some sensors. I think O2 sensor, throttle body, and a couple things here and there. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. The train is done, so we are heading to the school now. We hit the second train. See you later, baby. Wow, that train doesn't slow down, huh? Nope. That one is fast. We dropped off Jackie, he hopped off the truck and ran in, and then, well he walked in briskly, and then we came over here to the mid-school, and Draven hopped off too, right away, and he went in, so, I think they realized that spring break is like a day and a half away, mm. so, they're gonna go see their friends, Michael's still in there. <laughs> We're heading out north right now. We're gonna go to Rock Springs and we're gonna pick up my mom, take her to the store, take her back to her house, and then we're gonna go work on this car. There's Cheat Dodge Elementary. That's where I went to elementary school. We have picked up my mom hmm. and uh, trying to get Ivy to be nice. <laughs> so, we're gonna go to the store right now. What <laughs> should we have for dinner? <laughs> Lobster tails. We have left DNR <laughs> and uh, we are over here at Sacred Wind. My mom is doing something about the internet over at her house. I think she's getting another application. Know, application for one. So we'll be at Sacred Wind real quick, then we're going to take my mom back home. Then we're going to head out to St. Michael's and go work on this truck. Now for something for breakfast. Pork chop sandwich, mutton sandwich. Hot dogs. I'm pumping the gas now, and I have to uh, have Ivy out here because she's kind of mean. Mama Bear, yeah. what is that on your potato wedge? <laughs> Ranch. It's better than cat. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Ranch is hard for me to get a hold of. Mama Bear loves ranch. Mm -hmm. I like Ooh. ranch flavored stuff. <laughs> I don't like ranch. And it took us a while to figure that out. Because uh, I won't like ranch at all with hot wings, with pizza, with uh, I don't, everything. Everything that Mama Bear eats it with. Salad? Salad. I don't like salad. it with salad either. That's the first thing people would say. Oh. Not pizza. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> So, uh, I avoid ranch at all costs. I don't like ranch at all. But, I cool ranch. I was eating them one time and you're like, ranch? No. And I said, here, try it. That's how we came up with the bag. <laughs> so, we did that. So, I finally ate some Cool Ranch Doritos. Normally, I just eat the regular Doritos. And the Cool Ranch Doritos are good. And then uh, it was the ranch sunflower seeds. Huh? Those are really good, especially with the monster when we're going for a long cruise. Those are awesome. So, I like ranch flavored stuff, but I don't like the ranch dressing at all. 
like I think it's the creamy, milky <laughs> texture of it. I, don't like I gotta it. buy one of those ranch packets and put it on some chicken and make it for him. He probably like that a lot. We shall see. <laughs> We have arrived at the vehicle, so I'm going to hop out and see what's up. All right, you guys, we are here, and it looks like we've got the 5.4 Ford engine here, and we're going to change a couple of things. One of them is going to be that throttle body there, and the mass airflow sensor is going to get changed, and throttle body looks like an O2 sensor, but I don't know which one is not reading. I gotta figure that out. I'll scan it again right now. We have started by removing those two. We have got two more. Those come off that side. We've got two more right here. We've got another one here. This is the last one. After removing those four screws, the air filter box comes right off. There's no clamp holding this pipe to the throttle body. That's what the screws are for. So we're going to change this here. In order to take the throttle body off, we're going to remove these screws, 10 millimeters. There's four of them, two on the front, two on the back. Here's the throttle body that we just pulled out, you guys. This looks like it could be the reason why it's not running right. This is the new one. Nice. The sensors that were on this one that I thought I was going to have to change, I don't have to change. So it comes with a new throttle position sensor as well. So that's a plus. I like it. This side though right here is usually where the problem lies on the um, ones that are no longer working. So the problem would have been in here. And Mama Bear and I have done multiple throttle bodies on these Fords, the electronic throttle bodies. And they seem to be problematic like 2005 to like 2008 usually. Next we have the mass airflow sensor. I have removed the screws already, so I just got to get this out of here. And this is the old one. This looks really new. Let me get a hold of the owner and see if they still want me to change this. The owners got back to us, and they want to change anyway, so we're going to put the new one in. There's the one we just pulled out. And this one is the new one. When dealing with the mass airflow sensor, be very careful not to get anything inside this passageway where where air is flowing through to be metered. We're just going to slide this in here nice and gentle. And we will reinsert these screws. Another thing I forgot to note about this passageway right here is um, when putting this in, make sure it is facing the right direction something like this could easily be mistaken and flipped around but because this is where the throttle body is here the air is coming through the filtered air is coming through here filtered air is coming through here and then traveling through here and into the throttle body so the opening on this should be facing that way the way we put it in this hole would have been facing this way how we slid it in all right, we got the new throttle body in. We've got the intake box on with a little bit of help. We had to lube it up a bit from the dipstick. Here's the filter going in now. Now I'm going to put the intake piping back on, and then we'll get to this O2 sensor. Cool, everything is put back together up here. The O2 sensor that they want changed is on bank 2, sensor 1. Bank two on these trucks are usually on the driver's side. So I'm gonna get underneath and see if I can find that O2 sensor. Sensor one is usually between the engine and the catalytic converter. And sensor two is usually after the converter. We have located the O2 sensor that needs to be changed out. We are underneath the truck on the driver's side. Thank you, Mama Bear. You're welcome. Love you. Love you. We've got the old O2 sensor out. Looks like it needed to be changed. What you got, Mama Bear? The new sensor. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like it's the right one. That's still Buddy's blanket. 
<laughs> Sorry for the dogs. Oh, two sensors aren't so bad when uh, I don't need a jack. Because it's kind of scary under a vehicle with a jack on it, even if it is supported right. It's still, still not cool. Well, there's the new one. And it is connected. All right, so we cleared all the codes after we have changed all the parts on it. So we're going to see if this thing starts with any problems or not. And the wrench light was on for a throttle body problem, and the check engine light was on as well, too. Awesome. So there's no check engine light the on. The wrench light was on up here in this corner somewhere on this side, so other than the seatbelt light. Okay, other than the seatbelt light, there are no lights on. We are oh. done with this truck. This road is bumpy. <laughs> we're gonna go head back into New Mexico now. <laughs> Sounds like we're all far. Yeah. We're gonna go head back to Yellow now. <laughs> we finished with an hour to spare. We're picking up the baby. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so we ended up getting nachos bel grande, substituting the beef out and getting it with rice. Oh, thank and then, you. Uh, this is a veggie Mexican pizza. <gasps> I don't even know what it is. No way. And then of course taco burrito and Mama's veggie fiesta burrito. <laughs> My new favorite. <laughs> Very good. We have picked up all the boys and we came over here to the mall. Mama Bear went in with Draven to get some shoes. Me, Michael, and Jackson, we're all waiting in the ride. About to head in. They should be out pretty soon. We just decided to come in. Mama Bear, yeah. you didn't tell me we're at the mall? <laughs> Bro. Apparently I was teleporting from uh, <laughs> From the school to the mall. <laughs> That's why we were out in the truck. I think I found some shoes from Mama Bear. <laughs> we're taking off from the mall now. Everybody went in. We're gonna head home now. Or, I don't know. Where are we going now? Church. One, two. Oh yeah, we need to stop by Warren's after the grocery store. Okay, grocery store, we're gonna stop by Warren's. Somebody forgot his charger over there. We're over here at Lowe's right now. We just left from the mall. Uh, Mama Bear went in, she was buying Draven some shoes and uh, Jackson got some toys and stuff. But I ran in, I was looking for some things. I was looking for a phone. I need a new Samsung Galaxy. Um, I've seen an S21 in one of the stores over there that was for sale. But all they have is a, lavend a lavender one. Which I'm cool with. I like purple. But um, I think it's like 750 so I was just checking on phones. But I did find a bag. Uh, Mama Bear always wants bags, a backpack, a nice one. So I finally found one that I think she might like. And when we went in, that's what I spent money on earlier. She just doesn't know it yet. Our anniversary is coming up. And uh, I found this white leather bag for her. And it's nothing too big. It's a nice tiny bag. So it's got the chrome zippers on it and it's got the uh and it's got the long handles, the long and it's got the long tassels on the handles. And it's got the long tassels on the zipper, two pockets in the front. And in here, nice. The tag, I like the um, liner in it. The liner actually looks really awesome too. Let's see here, Brooklyn. This one's called the Brooklyn and it's optic white. Nice. 
These are the shoes that Draven picked out. These look pretty sick. I like the black on black. Nice, man. I might not even wait until our anniversary to give it to her. It's like next weekend. A whole other week. I'm sure I'll find something nice again within this week, so I'll probably just give that to her when we get home. She deserves way more than that. But I guess that's that's the start. That's for this week, I guess. <laughs> We're just now getting back to the house. It's 5.30 in the evening. And the bus that the boys would be riding if they got on the bus is just now leaving our bus stop. We've had them for a couple of hours now. Yeah. On the menu tonight is going to be some ground beef and seasoning <laughs> with some rice. Enjoy. We're going to be having some enchiladas tonight. She's working on this Spanish rice. Yeah, Spanish rice. What are you doing out here, bro? Crazy cat. Hey, Duke. Ha. Nice and chill out here tonight. You can see Jupiter and Venus over there looking to the west. I don't know if it's like this around America, but a lot of times in New Mexico, um, enchiladas are made like casserole style. Mama Bear made mm. some that were rolled before, so today she's going to make some like a lasagna. <laughs> New Mexican lasagna. <laughs> this is ready to go in. It's pretty easy doing it though. Not saying the rolling is hard, but it's I, definitely less time too. Yes, it was quick. It was pretty quick. We have to replace this filter as well. We have this new filter. <laughs> we picked it up the other day. I'm finally putting it in now. <laughs> now it's good. Oh, yeah, good. that looks good, Mama Bear. Yeah. Oh, thanks, baby. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. And of course, when we're eating enchiladas, you need at least a couple of these. Mama eats like five. <laughs> Heading up here to Papa's. Gonna take him a plate too. Hi, Zeppelin. Ha! Cool guy. <laughs> you thought you were going to eat again, bro? This guy. Good night, Zeppelin. Sometimes I don't see my father-in-law for like two days, and I just got to go check on him, make sure everything's cool. Usually he'll talk to me about stuff that he won't talk to him about. It's a lot quicker for him to communicate with me, so usually if there's anything, he'll let me know. Seems like everything is a okay. Mama. Yeah. No enchiladas for you, huh? No. I don't want the red sauce. Harper. <laughs> so make me some tostadas. Nice. When Mama Bear rolls the enchiladas, it's easier for her to make some cheese ones. When she stacks it like this for us, we enjoy it. And it's a lot quicker too. So it's easier to get to the food. But uh Actually, it's really we were at the mall for a bit. But, uh, yeah, now, like, whenever Mama makes the casserole type enchiladas, she just makes the tostadas all bean, all veggie. Some days I work pretty hard. Some days I don't work really hard. Some days I don't work at all. But every day that I'm doing work and stuff, anything that we're doing, when we come back and I get to sit here and eat dinner with Mama Bear <laughs> while we sit here, like, with our family together, um, whatever we're going through during the day or whatever we're doing is definitely all worth it. Yeah. This this is the time of the day that I really enjoy is sitting here with Mama Bear and the boys. And even though a lot of times they're on the game mm -hmm. or on their phone, 
It's still good to all sit around the table and I'll sit here and have dinner at the same time. Kind of awesome. Hey, look. Woo! After taking a detour to Papa's house to drop some food off for him, it still munched it out faster than Mama can. <laughs> but yeah. that's what laying on the trucks in the dirt does to me. Yeah. We've been here at the house all evening now, and it is getting late. I think the two older boys crashed out. Or, I don't know. No, Javen, Javen did. Michael just oh, okay. Xbox Live card. So he's oh, man, he's going to be up all night. Uh, yeah. Jackson's on uh, his tablet in there. He got some Roblox bucks, too. So Jackson is happy. <laughs> Earlier, we went to the mall and uh, I got something for Mama for her anniversary. But I think I'm just going to give it to her now. <laughs> Mama does a lot of work for all of us all the time, so I think she deserves stuff just to get stuff. Here you go, Mama Bear. Wow. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, there's more pocket sense over there. Ooh, thank you, Bree. You're welcome. This has got all the stuff that it's made from. Well, leather, of course. It says keep it away from sunlight, water, heat, dyes. Everything. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I really needed You're a welcome. bag. You're welcome. <laughs> Jackson said he got it for you. I spent my funny. own money on it. Really? Yeah, that was just holding it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the metal panels that I needed, those aluminum panels off the trailer. The old trailer that we used to live in is still parked out behind the garage. So we needed a couple of panels because my cousin's trailer, there's a couple of them that are damaged, like really bad, ripped in half, like. Some of them are ripped off. So I pulled a couple off of the one that's back here. And I think we only need one, but I pulled two just in case. And Mama Bear is still on her way back from taking the boys to school. And I am hungry. So I'm going to warm up some of these enchiladas from last night. It is going to be awesome. Okay. So I got done doing what I was doing. Mama Bear is back. She... Already got started on dinner for tonight. What are you making, baby? Pizzoli. Pizzoli. I knew it was something awesome when she was putting the red chili away. <laughs> <laughs> so I got those panels off, and we're going to go ahead in and uh, get over to my cousin's trailer real quick. We got a busy morning before we pick these dudes up. Then we have a busy weekend, and we're going to have an insanely busy week. Spring break is starting in a couple hours, so we're going to have these boys for a week, and we're going to make sure they are entertained to the fullest. Right, Mama? Yes. We're trying to figure out where to go on a hike. Mama Bear doesn't want to go on a hike. Where do you want to go hike, Mama Bear? A lot of times I do my work, and I always make whatever the problem is, and I fix it, I make it work. So if I have to make new parts, or if I have to like find new avenues of making things work, I usually do. Sometimes, though, I get stuck, and then I get frustrated. <laughs> and this morning... I was trying to figure out how to get these panels in that are, I think they're like 12 feet or they're like 11, 11 and a half feet. However long they are, they won't fit in the truck. So I, I didn't want to put them on top I um, because I don't want to scratch the paint on the top and I don't want to mess with the sunroof. So then I didn't want to bend them either because that'll defeat the whole purpose of changing the panels out. And Mama Bear came over and she just looked at it and um, she just said put it in. So we put it in, how Mama <laughs> said, and it turns out it worked. 
So it's like not even touching us. It's up there at the top. So you can tell, <laughs> like you can see it's not bothering us at all. So somehow she got this to fit in here and uh, we're gonna take, there's two sheets. You can see there's two panels right there. And uh, we're gonna take these over to my cousins. That's what we're gonna use to repair the outside of our house. <laughs> so a lot of the things that I do, um, I wouldn't even get half of it done if it wasn't for my mother. <laughs> I probably say that a lot, but a lot of times people are always acknowledging when I help them and when I fix their stuff and when I make things work and everybody always tells me how awesome it is and they tell me how thankful they are and nobody ever sees like the whole behind the scenes of how much she actually does too. So that's why I'm always saying thanks to her, especially like out where everybody can hear me because a lot of the times everybody says, oh yeah, you're good at this and that and this and that and uh, there are a lot of things that Mama Bear is good at that nobody ever really acknowledges because it just comes under the whole thing of like, oh yeah, they came and fixed the house and then they just assume like they, they mean me, but <laughs> it's actually both of us. And it's not just houses, it's like automotive stuff and uh, even painting signs, doing things, mapping stuff out. Anything like that, Mama Bear usually is uh, behind the scenes, making it work. I'm the person outside the box. She thinks outside the box. That's how that works. <laughs> <clears throat> so, that's how we make things work. Thanks, Mama Bear. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. <laughs> It was a nice cruise in, mm -hmm. very chill. Very chill. We're just now getting over here to um, the spot now where we're gonna be working on this. So, we're gonna unload this here in a minute. This is how big the pieces were that were in here. You really fit this in there, Mama? We unloaded all the loot and we started on it a little bit and then we took off. I went to go talk to Warren for a little bit and then uh, we came downtown and we're over here by Dr. Balfour so we're gonna pick up Michael's glasses and then we're gonna probably uh, pick up something to munch real quick and then head back over to my cousins. We are walking through the walkway. It's called the walkway. This is where they have art scrawl, usually throughout the summers. Actually through uh, three of the seasons that we have. During the winter is the only time they don't have art scrawl. It's pretty nice. I think I need to take the time this year to actually bring my stuff out and show it in art ball. Mama Bear picked up some contacts for me too. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. There's the courthouse. Quick stop for some grub. We are here at Glenn's Bakery. Mm -hmm. It's here on 66 in Gallup. Really awesome spot. Yeah. Cool spot about here. Check out the fish tank. and of course we got a donut and I got a burger these are the burgers at Glenn's but he ended up with the jalapeno cheddar bun I asked for a plain bun but <laughs> I got the jalapeno cheddar and uh, I'm not even sure if I like jalapenos or not but I'm gonna try this out I was picking up Jackie and he ran off from me I had to hop off at the crosswalk and I went and scooped him up <laughs> Thanks, man. Of course, we had to stop by the dollar store. What did I feed him at school, Mama? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, I should have got him. Mama Bear, what happened? 
I broke a nail. <laughs> All the work you helped me do, and it broke doing what? Um, sitting here? Sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> we just got back to the house, and it smells good in here. It smells like pasole and red chili in here. Wow, mama bear. That looks good. There's the pasole. This is how Mama Bear is sending up puppets. <laughs> His cup's been on here for a long time since my mom was here, so I gotta return it to him. And Papa gets a triple stick. Gotta send up some fry bread for him. This is what he loves when Pam cooks fry bread for him. <laughs> I'm watching a video on YouTube on the um, Navajo Code Talkers, and I watch a lot of these different videos. This always bothers me. I don't know why the subtitles are on. But it always says speaking in a foreign language. The Navajo language is not a foreign language. Dinner time. Pasole and pork. Man, stupid coyotes. They got into our trailer with the garbage. They rolled out before I got out there. But I resecured the cover on the tray. Eh? The Gallup girls just won the state tournament in Albuquerque at the pit. Kind of cool. Pretty awesome. It's raining out here now. The rain sounds pretty good. Muddy roads again. But we can get ready for planting. Well, we got to get the ground ready so Mama Bear can plant. We're going to call it a night, you guys. Good night, guys. We're just running back and forth with Jackson. <laughs> it doesn't show a whole lot, but like usually a couple hours out of the day, he's nonstop with me. And sometimes it's uh, towards the end of the night when we're supposed to be going to bed. <laughs> so now it's all hot in here again. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Good night, guys. Well, guys, that's it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you guys for checking it out again. Thank you all for the continued love and support you guys are showing us. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of y'all's day. See you guys later. Peace.